Hi, I'm Doug, and this is... Evan. Evan. Evan William McCon. And we're really excited because we just received in the mail from Rocket Brand Studios our tadpole robot. We're going to build this robot for you right here using only a screwdriver. So, it's really easy. It's really easy. We open up the box. Here's our unboxing. And what we're going to show you all the parts that came from it. So the first thing we have is this little breadboard. You know, you can do this too. And then we have a battery pack. And some fine reading. So just in case you wanted to read something from... Um, uh, online.com. I saw some funny so too. The robot comes with culture. A Rocket Brand Studios business card, and this is important because nowhere in the package is any instructions. So what you'll end up doing is going to RocketBrandStudios.com and getting the instructions online. It'll actually lead you to an instructable that tells you how to put it together. And there's some great videos at rocketbrandstudios.com talking about the robot also. So uh, the next thing we get out of here is uh, this looks like uh, these will be the part of the wheels, I'm assuming. And we've got uh, some connectors and some screws and some nuts. So so bag of parts. Uh, we've got something here from okay. we've got something here what is this this is a mini driver robot controller and this looks like uh, it's got some mounting parts to it and the actual controller that's exciting Ooh, and that's we've got uh, oh a pretty 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 ribbon strip here Ooh. and looks like some infrared LEDs this has actually printed on the board Rocket Brand, um, and uh, I hope I haven't done that. And it looks uh, all solder joints look pretty good. I thought I saw one when I was looking at it earlier that I thought we might need to touch up, but I'm wrong. Yep. I think I'm wrong. This is great. Uh, this is obviously going a sensor that's going to give the uh, robot. The ability to. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> so th this is its eyes. Do you see this? This is going to send out. This is going to send out infrared signals and. Uh, and nine eyes. Yeah, this is going to help send out. Kind of sends out signals and, and bounces off things. Okay. So it's cool. knows where it is. Okay. So that's going to be creepy if it has nine eyes. Next we have our motors, our servos. So we've got a servo here, servo here, two servos. I'm assuming that goes with two wheels. And we've got some fantastic parts here. I am going to place a bet that these parts were actually printed on a 3D printer. I could be wrong. And um, and they look really cool. So so we've got our, our gears and stuff in there. Uh, we're not done yet. Here we have an empty box. We'll put that aside. And in a... Uh, Nice static bag here. I know what's in this. This is going to be this is going to be the actual body and wheels uh. of the robot that were printed on a 3D printer. Where so we have a lot. Wow! Look at all this. So wow. we've got uh, we've got some circles. Uh, oh looks cool. like I believe this is PVC, uh, and um, yeah. and yes, yeah, and then we've got looks like uh, this will probably if I had to bet this will be the part that we mount the breadboard onto, and then we have the tadpole body itself. Uh, there's another wheel, another wheel, and looks like a couple of levers. And um, and two more little uh, little ones here. 
and two different, two different body pieces. So the next step is parts. The uh, next step is going to be to click over to the instructables and give them instructions to see what you actually do with these. You ready to do that? Yes. Uh, now, I should point out that the tadpole is a, is a great robot that you can build with just a screwdriver. And I'm going to show you that a seven-year-old can build it. I'm not going to do this. He's going to do it.
So, after we finish this, um, for, and we have it for a couple days, like, next month, we can take it apart and turn it into a tank, I think. Okay. We could actually do all kinds of things with it without having to take it apart. What we have now Ooh, tank. is our tadpole robot. This is a chassis, a highly versatile robot that's going to allow us to do all kinds of different things to it. Uh, like, if we took off the breadboard, we could mount a pen through it and draw it on a piece of butcher paper or something. Uh, we're not going to plug any wires in yet because the next step to using your tadpole is to go through the tutorials and we're going to do some blink tests, we're going to do some other tests that uh, are going to allow us to program our Arduino and, um, and make the robot start doing what we want it to do. So the next step is actually to install software. Our robot is built and now we have to do some learning. Make it do something. It doesn't roll yet. Now, now we learn how to program it. Program it. When we program it, the wheels will be able to move and will be able to control itself. That's right. Be sure to visit RocketBrandStudios.com. Buy yourself a tadpole. Put it together and have a lot of fun. Daddy, actually, I just.